Nambia musi niangalie bado muna niangalie Staki muni niangalie Musi niangalie Tafadhali eh, Kujia ni tu mkiongea tu hivyo eh, eh. Good morning, your excellence, madam. The parade procession is ready for your uh, for the procession. May I have your permission to carry on with the parade, please, madam? <laughs> Yo, Inspector Hadi, Dile, Yachini, if you are the Huko vizuri, now I want to ask you now to kiss the bride. Kabisa, vizuri tu. Usiharakishe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, ajamaliza, eh? Aonge, endolea, endolea. Ata... 
on these marriages yes we release blessings and prosperity to come your way mm -hmm. and we command that you men you are not going to die earlier than your wives yeah. you will wait for them yes we pray that the genes that So, conduct you. Haya. Sasa tutakuwa tunaitisha two couples. Katika mpangilio ule uliokuweko. Sasa the first. Daniel Cheriot Sometimes you see some killing, it is not physical, it is not uh, at the nature of our work is bad, mm -hmm. but it is the family battles. And I can tell you the significance is not only that uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is now enjoying and all that. There are battles that uh, will never ever come near them and they will live to satisfaction just because their battle have been won by the reinforcement of the fathers and it is did an uh, amazing moment. We are looking forward as a fraternity to see more coming and I can assure you I think we need more ground because next time uh, most of them they will come and uh, they are eager uh, and they are waiting for the moment and uh, we need uh, to strategize way forward and uh, with the help of our excellence we know that uh, we are going to have over 300 police officers uh, uh, coming on board. Uh, uh, Pastor Dorokas uh, Gashagwa kwa kuinitiate hii program ya kufanya mass uh, wedding. Hapo awali askari tulikuwa tunaangaika sana. Wakati kuna tokea shida kama ya kifo, wakati tunataka kutres mambo zetu kama benefits from insurances, from banks, from uh, our area of work, sometimes inakuwa ngumu kufuatilia, sometimes inakuwa ngumu kufuatilia maana hatuna hiyo cheti ama marriage certificate of which it is a very important document as far, concern, as, far as I'm concerned. So tunashukuru sana kwa wale wameandaa hii afla, kuanzia clergy, bishop, kuanzia bishops, reverends, pastors, eh, behind the curtain hawajalala usiku na mchana wakianda ili kufanikisha shughuli hii. Tunashukuru sana pia media wanafanya kazi mzuri ku update pia the society outside there, kuwapatia the information at the correct at the right time. So kwa hayo yote zaidi ya yote tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yeye ndio ametufikisha umbali huu. Tunashukuru kwa media na karibuni sana tusherekee pamoja. Uh, kufanya harusi uh, kuna kwanga na cost mingi. Uh, so maybe ku plan nini reception vitu kama hizo. But since uh, it is catered for inakuwa rahisi. Uh, pia kwenda kwa kwa hizo nini hizo charges za uh, registrations and what 
inakuanga ni pesa fulani lazima ukuo menini but since tulisaidika na kuna, kuna, kuna pesa fulani ilikuwa imetengwa for this for this occasion to to happen at least in a, in a, in a cut cost na tunataka kurudishia ha excellency thank you a big thank you for choosing this day for us and we say thank you thank you thank you na tunafurahia sana yeah tunaona wanaharusi ndio wanameta meta tuko hapa kwa ajili ya wanaharusi mimi ni msimamishi nimeleta rafiki yangu hii ni siku kubwa sana tumeigoja kwa hamu na gamu na tunashukuru Mungu ameifikisha tuasema ni asante kwa Mungu tunaomba ikuwe siku jema na ya kufaa naitwa inspector Benson Madeka i'm so happy to have Eric and Halis have a wedding i did this long time ago and i, I say congratulations to them and uh, this is a new a move a good one and uh, as an officer to have a family is the best thing to maintain a family is the best thing to assist him emotionally have him have peace at work and have him progress in life we thank her excellency for supporting us as officers now to inspector benson madeka i'm so happy to have eric and halis have a wedding i did this long time ago and i, I say congratulations to them and uh, this is a new a move a good one and uh, as an officer to have a family is the best thing to maintain a family is the best thing to assist him emotionally have him have peace at work and have him progress in life we thank her excellency for supporting us as officers sababu iki ichi cheti ni cha muhimu sana maisha ni mwetu sababu bila ichi cheti vitu zingi vitu mingi sana zinaweza kuasikana so i'm so happy so thankful for the office and for the national police service and for the corpus So thank you so much. Ninaitwa Kevina John Mutunga. Siku, siku ya leo nafurahia sana kwa sababu ni siku ambayo nilikuwa nimeingojea sana. Ambayo tulikuwa tumepromisiwa na Pastor Dorcas Ngashagwa kwamba atatutimizia siku kama hii. So kwangu mimi nimefurahia sana. Mungu ambariki sana na muongezee na muzidishishe. Kwa majina naitwa Irene Mwenti. Kwa siku ya leo tuko na furaha. Ni kitu tuliongojea kwa muda lakini hakika tumeona Mungu ametenda. Kwa majina naitwa Charles Mwange na leo nashukuru Mungu kwa kufikisha siku hii ya leo. Hata maneno inapotea yenye naweza sema lakini ni kushukuru Mungu na tuonekanie kabisa na iwe na tuwe na sherehe ya kufana. Harusi tunayo kabisa kumshukuru Mungu kabisa na kumshukuru yeye individually kwa ile usaidizi ametupea na kuona familia mingi venye ziko kwa polisi kuziunganisha hakika tunamshukuru thank you i'm humbled to be here today i'm very happy uh, for the second lady to initiate this particular forum we are really very happy we appreciate everything and we want to say that may God bless her expand her territories and uh, let her continue supporting this particular marital uh, matrimonial waiting for our officers because it's, it is giving us an opportunity to feel like we have a second opportunity a second chance again so thank you so much God bless you today is a very happy day for us for all of us the couples plus obisa na siku ya leo ni siku ya furaha sana kwangu nimefurahia sana kwa ajili ya siku ya leo nashukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili ya Mama Dorcas kuandaa siku ya leo kuwa chinzi ilivyo we are really so so happy and we really appreciate her so much secondary due to the nature of your work again you are exposed to more life threatening risks and sometimes you may pay the ultimate price life some of the servicemen widows and children are destitute today why uh, you at your recruitment to service it happens when you are very young 
And most of you, on your records, you have put your parents. And that means that your next of kin is your parents. And later, upon getting families, you forget to update the records to capture information about your spouses and children. Therefore, the spouses and the children end up being exposed to losing their right in the matrimonial properties. These challenges notwithstanding, we must brave and live fulfilling lives, full of happiness and family warmth. We must live with each other daily, loving each other every minute. As you are aware, the family institution is facing many challenges today. I urge you to never give up on your marriage, never ever to give up on your family, and never ever give up on hope. Marriage works. And I'm a witness, and I'm a testimony. I've been it now almost going 36 years. It works and it is beautiful. I am also aware of the challenges you face in your career. Most of it, most of it as disciplined officers, your families may face unique challenges. First, police officers are recruited to the service at a very early age. And along the way, they settle down in marriage, but due to the nature of your work, many of you have, have no time to legalize your marriage. The story about the plight of the foreign soldiers' widows whose marriage had not been legalized was painful. It was, it is our belief that my sons and my daughters, when you agree to legalize the marriages that you have today, it would not only resolve the issue of legitimacy of your marriage, but it also secures your wife and your children upon an eventuality or unfortunate situation which happens to all of us, and especially in your line of duty. And that's why I said I respect uniformed officer because you secure this nation, you secure every family, and you do it at the risk of losing and paying the ultimate price. And you always do it willingly. So secure your family and secure your wife. We plan to hold uniform weddings annually for those who desire it. We <laughs> Thank you. We wish to intentionally encourage strong and stable families. When love and harmony abound, we shall have fewer cases of mental illnesses, conditions, conditions, depression, murder, violence, and suicide among police families. I also encourage police families to seek counsel when they face difficult situations. Police chaplains, and counselors and other senior officers are available to mentor you and to listen to you. And even if you don't go there, I am sure your parents and friends are waiting to hear and to be able to help you. I appreciate the input.